are a design studio that focuses on creating both products and environments that evoke emotion and deliver meaning. Uh, our clients range from smaller entrepreneurial startup companies up to Fortune 100 and Fortune 500 companies. In addition to design services, we also come up with uh, entrepreneurial product ideas and product concepts that we study, we investigate, we invest our own money and time into, and then we, we take them to market. Botanist was an idea that was floating around for maybe about two years before it you know, took shape. And the idea was to create a product platform that could unite designers from around the world and bring us all together to do what we love, which is design and using our creativity to create positive change. I noticed that the musician community and the celebrity community was doing this in different ways, but the industrial design and architectural community was not doing this. So botanist, for me, is really a, uh, a collaborative, unifying platform, and there are these blank canvases that we can put our art on. And at the end of the day, botanist uh, raises awareness and funds for charities uh, that are in need. What I believe makes our business model unique is that it's not about one designer or one product. It's about the designer's desire to make a difference beyond him or herself. And this botanist business model is literally a platform to vocalize those concerns or uh, desires to make a difference. So it's an empowerment tool. When designers come and contribute to botanist, um, you're learning about what inspires them and why this foundation that they're partnering with is important to them. When we set out to design Botanist, uh, we designed it using recycled and recyclable aluminum. Every piece of aluminum we use has anywhere from 5 to 15% recyclable content in it already. They're also very lightweight, so it's easier to transport. And the powder coating process that we use is you know, not the most environmentally friendly, but it's a lot more environmentally friendly than using lacquer finishes. Our paints are incredibly durable, but they, because it's uh, electrostatically attached to the product, there's minimal waste. 99% you know, of it is, ends up on the product not on the ground or in someone's lungs or, or being wasted or in a landfill, and there's no off-gassing. The technology aspect for botanist is critical. The way we make the product is we create these blanks and then as the orders come in, depending on what it is that these retailers are asking for, or what the market demands are, we can feed them into the manufacturing process and through technology, it's all automated. We use a water jetting or a hydro jetting process, which is basically, it operates very much like a plotter, a traditional architectural pl plotter. The only difference is that they're running pressurized water through a hose that has diamond dust inside of it, and that diamond dust under the high pressure cuts the aluminum and we get these beautiful um, array of patterns. Uh, from a manufacturing point of view, the machine doesn't really care what kind of program is being run through it. It can cut anything or it can do any kind of design. And we modeled that business or that manufacturing process after the t-shirt manufacturing industry. The analogy I always use for botanists is that what we're creating here is a short sleeve, a long sleeve, and a tank top the three different shapes. And what changes is never the shape or the geometry, but the graphic and the color. So that's really what Botanist is. It's a platform that captures a designer's imagination you know, within the, the modern furniture world. 